What's new? It's Gnu, and welcome back to another episode on the Snowboard server, where I am too bouncy to exist. Uh, you might be wondering, where are we and what are we doing? Well, I'm eating steak. Hi. <laughs> no, I'm in the middle of a jungle. Well, not really. I'm on the edge of the jungle. Why? Because I'm searching for a village, and I had to get out of the jungle to find a village, because there ain't no villages in the jungle, as far as I know of. Oh, and I also need leather. And I have my own cows at home, so I'm gonna just start killing these cows for leather. If you remember, we're making an enchanting setup, which is why we need leather. And in this episode, as you may have noticed as well, we're making a new shop. I kind of hinted at that in the last episode, but um, it's happening. That's what's going on, and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. In fact, I think this shop is going to be our most profitable shop of the season, and I'm making an, an episode two. So, you can tell I'm confident, but, um, I have a lot of ideas, and while I won't tell you the name or the exact purpose, let's just say it sells a lot of stuff. A lot of randomish stuff. Wait, how did he not die? Yeah, I'm looking for a village, because we need villagers. We're going to be trying to set up an iron farm. It's a little bit ambitious, and it may not get done. Uh, in fact, actually... It'll probably be in the title if it does get done. So could you could you do me a favor and let me know if I finish it today? That'd be great. And then I'll know whether or not I should really try for it. Yeah, we're just kind of wandering in the wilderness looking for a village. This is going to be a bit of a journey, but um, I'm looking for villages. So I'll let you know if I find a village or anything else of any interest whatsoever. Anyway, just, yeah, we'll be back soon. Ooh, spruce forest. Spruce forests are good for villages. I love spruce villages, and I would love some spruce villagers. If we can- <gasps> No way! No way! No way! <laughs> what did I just say? Hello? Anybody home? Bread. That's always nice. And leather. I need leather. I don't need pants. And hats. Ooh, but cauldrons are really hard to- Well, they cost, they cost a lot of iron, actually. Alright, where are my villagers? Where are my villagers at? <gasps> I heard them. The sultry sound of their sweet voices. Hello, sir. You're a weaponsmith. Ooh, a bane breath prize one. Not bad. Not bad. I should have brought some. No, I should not have. All right. This was never super intended to be the take back mission. So let me, let me, let me just write this in chat. 1292, negative 740. And because I'm such a monkey of a man, I will write this down in real life too right now. 1292, negative 740. 40. All right, now there's no way I'm losing this place. All right, I'm gonna head home with all of my newfound treasures. If I went north, I have no idea where I am right now. That's always a pleasant realization. Oop. I'm so good at MLGs. I'm also frightfully absent-minded, and I may not have brought... <gasps> what is that? It's a shipwreck, I think. Oh, boy. I love a sh good shipwreck. Is that jungle wood? What kind of ship uses jungle wood? I just don't want to drown because I've drowned so many times with these shipwrecks. There, chest right in sight. Uh, wheat. Wheat. Oh, carrot. Carrots. Carrots. What do I trade carrots for? Chiseled stone bricks. And what's that? Curse of Vanishing? Definitely don't want that kind of boot. Alright. I've been looking for carrots. Oh, my friend's gonna be jealous. Alright, looks like there's not a second chest or not one that I'm finding anytime soon. Alright, well, that was fun. Shipwrecks are always good. I'm gonna have to go around this bay, because I, I didn't bring a boat, which is annoying. And I'm really chock full with rare things. But I'm super excited, guys. Carrots. Oh my gosh. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, my friend Mr. Barry and his friend Tidal, they have been um, collecting lots of interestingness, including pumpkins and... Uh, what else? Sugarcane... They do not have melons or carrots, though. They even have beetroot, I forgot. I forgot about that. Uh, I stole some beetroot. From them, but don't don't tell them. Don't tell them. It was just... It was one beetroot, so I could have beetroot, too. No, it was no, no harm, no foul. And I harmed not, so clearly I am not foul. So you can believe me, because I tell the truth. <gasps> I know where I am. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just need to head due this way, and we should be back to familiar territory anytime soon to deliver all kinds of stuff, including creamy llama head. Which, yes, is from the plug-in mob head. More mob heads. Uh, so I've been getting... I, I'm gonna collect them because they're, they're just adorable. And, um, fun to collect. Mountains! 
Oh, there's my house. That's my house. Guys, 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 that's my house. It's been a long, long journey for me. I'm gonna eat a cooked chicken and recover some health before I go jumping off the trees again. I say as I immediately begin jumping off trees. It's good to be walking through my own planted forest. And there's all my stuff, my cows, my people. Oh, yes. Okay. First of all, I'm accumulating quite a collection of cow head, of, of animal heads and heads. I think I should make a head chest, a chest of heads. Nobody come, not many people come up to our base. We should be, it should be, all of our heads should be perfectly safe, like right here. Look at all of our heads. We got a creamy llama, a cow, a wandering trader, a chicken. I mean, we could, we could have a dress up party. We also have some sweet berries. Anyway, they do not require water or any sort of anything, so we'll just leave them out there. And they can grow. Uh, okay. We have chickens, but we, we're pretty stocked on food from our mission. Let's see, what else did we get? We got carrots. Um, I have some beetroot on this side, but do we really want this much beetroot? The answer is no, of course not. So let's, let's just plant our carrots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Four of each. And then we can go and harvest all of our wheat. Twelve, which makes four bookshelves, if I'm correct. I'm not that good at math, but we'll see. One, two, three. Are you kidding me? I'll be right back. Hold up, let me just grab. Yeah, so that that's all the jungle wood I've been buying off of uh Mr. Ultimate Gaming. And um it's been very handy. Uh, because I've also been since People aren't going to buy that. I've already stocked my shop with a crazy amount of jungle wood, and people aren't going to be buying that much jungle wood, so I'm just mainly using it as my wood, which I don't think he's mad with. I mean, I, I paid him for it. He shouldn't care. All right, so I guess I'm going to sleep now, which, by the way, I still hold the absolute record for because I've been playing a ton on the server today. So I am the sleeping king still, with more sleeps than anyone else by far. I think I'm at, like, 36 or 37 now. We'll check. Time slept in a bed. 53. Undisputedly, the king of sleeping. We also got dispensers. We got some nice stuff. I mean, we got tripwires. Sticky pistons. Now, that is hard to get. Sticky pistons are hard to get. So, we got some sticky pistons and dispensers. Okay, we also got a redstone repeater. The powerful things we can do with a redstone repeater. Ha ha! It's not that great. But, you know, it costs stone as well. And then here we have some stuff for my shop, which, you know what, maybe before we go to the villagers, maybe I should just tell you what this is. I've created a brand new shop uh, called Gnu's Odds and Ends. Uh, it's, it's, it's funny, right? Get it? Uh, I need more granite and andesite, apparently. But um, point is, this is a shop that will sell odds and ends, all kinds of stuff. I have torches, cobblestone, dirt. Uh, I'm going to sell redstone, dust. Probably not all kinds of redstone stuff, but redstone dust. And, you know, jack-o'-lanterns and just carved pumpkins, all kinds of randomness. So, uh, just, yeah, this is, this is going to be my shop. And it already exists, kind of. It's an island right now. But it's gonna be pretty cool. And I don't- I, I meant to sell these stones in sets of two stacks, so I won't bring those over yet. But we have redstone to bring. And I think I'm also gonna sell- bamboo's really easy to get. But I bet I can get away with selling it pretty- pretty expensive. Because, you know, people are kind of silly. And it's just easy to get. What am I selling? What am I selling here? Reds. Redstone dust. One diamond, four, three stacks. I think it's a bit of a steal, honestly. And, you know. Redstone's not the easiest to get, but it's not very difficult. Uh, okay, we don't have another full set of... Whatever. Uh, we don't have much in stock. But, um, diorite for sword stones. We have lots of cobblestone. Lots of torches, actually. And some dirt. <laughs> Not a ton of dirt, actually. Dirt, dirt's kind of difficult to get. But look at this. This is something else I've been working on. I mean, it's not much, you know. I've just started building out this way. But North Snow Forge Avenue. We have, we have four main roads. North Snow Forge Avenue. Uh, West Snow Forge Lane, which we'll head out in that direction. South Snow Forge Road, yonder. 
and East Snowforge Lane, this way. And so far, both of my shops are on East Snowforge Lane. That has access on, on the, uh, what's this called? North Snowforge Avenue. But, uh, yeah, this is 100 East Snowforge Lane, 200 East. You know, we go up by, uh, hundreds. So, yeah, this is my nice little island of epicness. It's gonna look better someday. Planted a few spruce trees to give the place atmosphere. We're gonna have a real nice shopping district one day. I'm very proud. But, besides that, we have some villagers to go wrangle. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not excited, to be very, very, very honest with you. I'm not excited at all. But, we gotta do it. Wait, what, what time of day is it? Eh, it's mid-afternoon. What the heck, let's get started out. Um, could I look at the chat? 12.92, negative 7.40, so we need to go positive 12.92, that's this direction, oh, that's a long ways this direction, holy moly, wowza, I, I, I did a giant loop, well, it's not a long ways, 12.92, but it, it's like 1,400 blocks this way, and then negative 7.40, we're already, we're already almost there, so let's just head, let's head north to negative 7.40, on the negative z axis and then we can head uh what's that east towards 1292 or whatever it was all right well my uh travel montage let's go No, I have bad news. It was negative 1292. I'm two and a half thousand blocks away. Oh no, 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 guys, I messed up. It was negative 1292? It's gotta be, because I double checked, it was negative 740. I have to travel like two and a half thousand blocks this direction, which is west. Oh my god, that's insanity. Oh, that's a huge slip up. And I was gonna be there on my first day too. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, that's a big mistake. Not the kind of mistake you want to make. Okay, this is gonna take even longer than I thought. Well, um, let's do a travel montage in the opposite direction. Here we go.
Yes, 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 yes. That was a nightmare. That was an absolute nightmare. Oh my gosh, you, don't, you guys don't even know what I went through. As you saw, I went the complete opposite direction. All right, I'm gonna go through, search this village. Because they got some nice stuff. I really like the collection. <gasps> Diamonds! And an iron helmet, and some apples, and some bread, and bread. Bread. What do I trade for bread? A lilac. I can always get lilacs. Why did I want ferns? I didn't really need those. Alright, well this means I have to take home two of the villagers. I'm gonna go try to find some normal villagers, I guess. Ones with two professions. Do ones with professions be- I'm gonna have to do a quick Google stuff, okay? I'll be right- I'll be right back. Alright, my Google searching is done. You can take any villagers. Does not matter. All I know is that this is going to be horribly, horribly painful. I forgot to bring a. I forgot. What am I saying? Anybody know what I'm saying? Let's take a vote. No one. I forgot to bring a piston to push the villagers up the hills and stuff. We're. Nice thing about boats, you can't take fall damage in boats. That is a cannot. No fall damage in la botes. So. Oh my god, that's a lot of babies. Hey, babies don't get to open doors. Get back in there. Yeah! You naughty. No. No. Get in. What are you doing? Babies are weird. Alright, where's some adults? Where are the adults in this village? I need to talk to some adults. Where is their dad and their mom? Aha! No, you sir shall be voted! No! I- wait, where, where did he- ah. Boat, now. Yes! Do I really make this trip twice, guys? Is this what I do for you? Alright then, I guess I'm gonna take this guy home. That's one villager out of two. Are you prepared for pain and suffering? <laughs> of course not, because you don't have to go through pain and suffering. Just me. Is this the- Oh my god, I forgot there was a ravine there. Oh no! Oh no! Back up, back up, back up. Oh my god, backing up's painfully slow. I already see so much pain ahead of us. No, 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 I did not know that could even happen. What? So, I've learned some important lessons. Villagers do not like boats. They like to leave the boats without my permission. Why? I don't know, because they're terribly stubborn and just, in general, annoying. Alright, hello, everybody. It has been a long 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 journey i i'm not exaggerating when i say many hours it took many hours and many pain i don't i've lost use of vocabularisms and all kinds of speaking things um but here are my two adorable little villagers just chilling inside their boats they each traveled like a thousand plus like at, like 1500 blocks uh, so that's 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 pretty insane. <clears throat> but they're here and it's kind of surreal. Luckily I did I had a lot of time on my hands. So I was able to spend a stupid amount of time getting them home. But at least they are home. Do I get need leather? I need leather. I'm working on my enchantment table. I have plans. As usual. I always have plans. Um <clears throat> I was able to get some more bookshelves in. I'm pretty sure you need the corners. I don't really care. I mean, well, I do. I'd like to get it set up, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, I've been, you know, growing sugarcane, using sugarcane. That's not where I keep my sugarcane. There's my sugarcane. I've, I've really lost it since I last spoke with you. But, we have big plans for those villagers. We're gonna start breeding them very soon. I love sugarcane. And, um, yeah, so, big plans. Alright, so I went mining a little bit to get some more stone stuff. I also picked up some stone and dirt that was down there. I got... Iron, some gold, most of that was already there, not a ton. No diamonds, unfortunately, so not super productive, but I don't know. I guess it was worth it. <laughs> it was good to mine a little bit. 
We don't have many bookshelves, but I don't know. What can we get? Efficiency 2 for diamond pickaxe. And I'm breaking two. Let's go. Enchanter. Alright, guys. So everything in this chest is really the basic materials we need. We can also always have some extra building blocks. Love water. We'll probably be using some rails and minecarts to get our villagers in. But that brings us to the last thing and the hardest things that we need. We need villagers. Uh, and a zombie. We need a zombie. And that zombie needs to stay spawned. We can't be spawned. So we're going to need... We could just have him hold an item, but I'm not sure how reliable that is, and I kind of like to have him have a name. So, we're going to go fishing, I think. So, I'm going to go fishing now. It's, it has been a long... That's not how you make a fishing round. It's been a long time since I've gone fishing. Just good old fishing. Not from a fishing fish farm or anything insane. Just a night fishing in a river. Fishing in a lake. A vanilla Minecraft experience. So, apparently you get treasure, or the special things... Uh, one out of six times, on average. And name tags are a 5% chance out of that one out of six. So actually, let me do some math really quick. Alright. Alright, so guys, I just did the math. And this may not be correct. I may have screwed this up somewhere, because I'm not a fantastic math person. But it seems that, from that information, there should be roughly a 3% chance of getting a name tag. Alright, so here's all the ingredients. For our farm, right? Well, we still don't have a name tag. You may notice I've been fishing. I've also been farming. Um, I fished an unholy amount of time and still not gotten a name tag. So I have a plan. Um, my good friends, the villagers, oh dear. They here will. Oop, not my. Own. These guys, <clears throat> when you level up a librarian high enough, uh, they will sell you name tags. I'm pretty sure. Librarian it is. So, what we're gonna do, I think, is instead go that route. I might fish a little bit more, but I also have more cod and carpfish and salmon than I will ever need. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of let that happen. Alright, you may also notice the farm is gone. Why? What's, what's the meaning of this? Well, our farm wasn't good enough, so I spent a long time digging out this side of the mountain and making us a better farm. And yes, I will make a path along here so I can actually walk and grab stuff. But, um, it's not quite done. I have wheat on that whole row. This row is split between mostly potatoes and a little bit of beetroot. This is all carrots. I love carrots. We're probably going to be using carrots a lot later on. And, uh, they're nice for villager trades. And then, uh, here I still have a bit more mining out to do because I want to grow everything up here. My sugarcane going to be up here. Um, my bamboo is going to be in some little special place. <laughs> A little bit special and then melons and pumpkins are gonna be on the far row with dirt on either side so they can grow as well as sweet berries we're gonna have a sweet berry farm as well we're gonna be farming everything around here and uh this is the new spot where it's all at so that is why up here is crazy this is a legitimate eye nightmare i can't figure out what what, what i'm on and what i'm not on and what exists and what doesn't exist <laughs> all right folks we have some stuff I have an iron farm behind me, or the groundwork for an iron farm, the holding cells for my villagers and zombies, but it, it's going to be covered up. There, there's water because that's how I get up and down. But yeah, that, there it is. There's three beds. No workstations as of 1.16. Villagers don't need workstations to make iron golems spawn, which is nice. Makes things easier for me. But the, the thing is, we need our villagers and zombies now because there's going to be a platform right above their heads. And um, then it'll be not as easy to get them in. I think you can imagine that with a platform, it would be difficult. So, here is my epic plan of mastery that will enable us to make an iron farm. In here, we have our two happy villagers. Look at his... <gasps> no! That was incredibly close! That guy is so dang happy. Can you see it on his face? Don't, no. Don't die, villager. Oh my god, he gave me a near heart attack. Now, like I said, these are happy, wonderful villagers. What they need is a home. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna give them a home. Yes, this is turning into a little bit of a mega-sode because I've done so much work today. And yesterday, and the day before for me, actually, so. Yeah, lots of stuff. All right, guys, so we are here in my pitiful basement of sadness next to my ugly house because 
ultimate made it really ugly. But um, we have a little little thing down here. Um, this one you can't just jump down that side because there's no water right there. But uh, there's your breeding facility. This keeps the water back. We got a nice fence gate so they can't get through. I think it's time. Let's F3 and B, by the way, is how to turn on hitboxes. <sighs> All right. That edge is far away from the villagers we possibly can. Yes, he's free. All right. This edge is far away from the villagers we possibly can. Yes, he's free. No damage. No damage. All right. F3 and B again to get those off. They're going to wander around in here. That's fine. I don't really care. You can just swim around all you want. There's no way out of here. Go that way. That way. That way. This is known as water herding, where I come from. That way. That, that way. All right. They have slept. Do they love each other now? Yes. Yes. Breed. 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 Please. Can either of you pick up more bread? Oh, one of them picked up more. <gasps> They're loving each other. They're loving each other. One of them picked up like most of the bread. They're loving each other. Keep loving each other. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Love. Love. Have love. <gasps> a baby villager. They made a baby. They made a baby. Oh, dang it. You monkey of a baby. Yes. That area is off limits to you. They made a baby. We have a baby. Yes. Oh, right. All right, guys, so we have a full family of four, and the baby is standing inside the other... What? Here, can you, can you move? There's the baby! All right, I got good news and bad news, and a fair bit of both. So, good news is in my hand, Acacia Saplings. That's awesome. My friend went exploring. I paid him a diamond for them. I got the saplings. That was great. I'm planning them. We can sell Acacia Wood now at our shop, or wood shop, hopefully. Uh, other good news, I went mining, found six more diamonds. So now I got 19 sitting around. It costs 24, I believe, to make a full set of armor. But even so, we're not gonna do that yet because I wanna get I wanna get mending on everything and I want I wanna I wanna have a good set of diamond armor when I'm gonna use my diamonds. Bad news is there's a lot of it. As you can see my from my levels, I died. A lot. In fact, I had like 17 levels again and then I died. You can see from this, the cows are gone, and the, the dirt is dirt, not grass. That's because a creeper came by and blew them up. Boo. Anyway, um, yeah, so that, that happened, and yeah, I, like I said, I died a lot. But, perhaps the most crushing blow of all is over here. Yes. So, really quick explanation for a few things. That guy's a librarian. Well, used to be a normal librarian. And uh, I'd worked on him a little bit, trying to trade with him, level him up to get the name tag thing. As you may have also seen, to the side, there are rails leading up to the soon-to-be iron farm, hopefully. And uh, that's because I bred up the villagers actually quite a bit and got the villagers in place. Now, all that's missing is the name tag for the zombie, which, of course, is why this is horrible, because now our librarian guy who's supposed to give us a name tag is zombified. There is a final piece of good news. As you can see in the chat, I'm just confirming something. Ah. We've got gold and apples. We can make golden apples. But the bad news is that that's not the only thing needed to cure a zombie villager. You need a weakness potion. You gotta give it to him. So, I believe this means that we have some nether adventuring to do. Alright, alright, alright. Well, it is now time to go to the nether. That's why I'm wearing gold, so that piglins don't hate me. But really, this is a bare-bones nether operation. We are not doing, doing much. I just brought a ridiculous amount of melons, a sword, a pickaxe, and a shield. We're just gonna try to go grab everything we possibly can without dying. And you know, not lose anything, which is why we have so little on us. Let's just get in the nether. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to not die and to get some, hopefully, nether warts and blaze rods. We need to go. Oh, oh yes, oh. yes. This is awesome. Okay. This is perfect for me. Yes. I need all this stuff. Ultimate really needs uh, netherrack and 
you had crimson and the fungi in the woods and the... I'm just gonna take some of everything, you know? I'm gonna take the fungus so I can grow more. These sounds are disgusting, by the way. I should've brought an axe. Oh, these sounds are really disgusting. So, remember, our goal is to find a bit of everything, and that includes another fortress, if we can find one. Watch out, though. May have just found the fortress. I may see the fortress. May see the fortress? We have fortress con sighting? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Fortress Across the way. confirmed. Fortress confirmed. All right, all right. So the game plan for the fortress, we're there to get Nether Ward and Blaze Rods. Do not, at all costs, do not destroy the spawner. All right. Build us in. Oh, we got blazes. Blazes coming in. All right, you ready? It begins. Do not hit the zombie piglin. Do not hit the zombie piglins. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Watch out. He's gonna... Oh, I'm low. I'm real low. Real low. I'm I'm lying. Two hearts. One and a half hearts. Into fire. Got it. Got a blaze rod. You got the blaze rod? Yeah. Block off some of the sides. Block off some of the sides with, with blocks. Oh no. I'm low. I'm low, but I'm gonna survive. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Alright, here's my plan. All your stuff. What? You have all my stuff? Yeah. All right, I can't make it without some blocks. So here's my plan, okay? I'm going to go to your house and grab a few stacks of blocks. All right, with that, I'm tagging them up. I'm tagging them up with my bow. I'm entering the Nether. What? I have to go past the Wither Skeleton, and I'm gonna die. Maybe. Nope. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Maybe. There's a Wither Skeleton behind me. We have to block it off. 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 Oh, I blocked it off. I'm on one heart. I need melons. Where's my melons? Uh, melons, 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 melons. All right. Well, then maybe we should just go home with what we have right now. When we want, we need nether wart to brew anything. We, we need nether wart. In fact, um, I need. Hold up, hold up. Grab those two things. I'm going to make a hidey hole because I need to look something up really quick. Okay. All right. Cool. You come back here with me, okay? The potion of weakness is the only potion that can be brewed without needing a nether wart. Let's go. Let's get the all heck right, out of here. Watch out. All right, then. Is that all? Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ultimate. That was interesting. Here's the librarian. Not looking too good. Yeah. But. Fear. Oh, jeez. All right. But fear not. We have gold. We have apples. We have blaze rods and blaze powder. Which means that we should be able to craft a brewing stand. And make a potion of weakness, feed it to him, give him a golden apple, and bang, he should be cured. And not only serve as a functional villager trade again, but also have reduced deals, reduced prices for us, because they love us once we cure them. Alright, so this should be converted into splash potions of weakness. Let's go, local brewery. Alright, you ready guys? This is our poor villager dude. He is sad, and he has no friends, but he shall be made mighty. You ready? It's happening. It's happening. Come on, my dude. I believe in the power of God and anime. Yes! Zombie doctor! Z zombie doctor! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Great deals! Oh my goodness, what do you offer now? 18 paper for one emerald. That's not as good as I thought it'd be. Ooh, one book and one emerald for channeling. One book for an emerald. Now that is the kind of deal I wanted to see. One book for an emerald. I will take you up on that, good sir. All right, people. So we got my cows and sheep back together. So here's my plan. I'm going to grow a ridiculous amount of sugarcane. I'm going to keep leveling up librarian. Well, not leveling up, I guess, but buying stuff from the librarian. And I will let you know when it is time to buy the name tag we have waited so long for. All right, guys. It has been a long, 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 long time. But we're here. And I have 15 emeralds. And those 15 emeralds are about to buy me name tag from this stupid 
librarian villager. Are you ready? We've been leveling him up forever. We fished for like an hour and a half, or to two hours, trying to get name tag. There you go. It actually only cost 14 emeralds. I was one too many. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care anymore. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna finally execute our plan by recreating this dark room and getting a zombie to walk down this hallway, and we're gonna shove him into it, and we're gonna name him, and we're gonna push him up and along and around and amazing and i've made part of the cover so the last thing i'm going to do right now is gather some cobblestone from my random chests and finish that covering of the track so he won't burn up and then we're going to finish the dark room and get us a zombie and finally move on and making this iron farm oh no 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 <laughs> ah! It's coming for me. All right, let's let's try and kill it. Ah! <laughs> I need a bow and arrow. I'm so not a melee <laughs> fighter against mobs specifically. Ah! Don't blow up. You can't see me. You're an idiot. Padar da dar dar. I'm just. Ah! I this man is magical. All right. Oh yes, we have a zombie. Stay there, zombie. No, no, no! Don't burn! Don't burn! You, sir, are a zombie. That's right, and you like zombie things. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to get back here. Why is this not powering that? Hello? Th this should be powering that. That's just how this works. Give me a second. The zombie will not despawn because he's right here. And he's still mad at me and he hates me. Okay, okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. I need this and that and that and then... He's already taking a lot of fire damage, so I'm glad I covered the whole thing. Oh. You okay, can I place it under his feet? No, I can't. Oh! Oh! He's on his way! He's on his way! Barry, I need you to sleep. You cannot- we cannot let this not work. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in the nether, so... Indentured servitude! He's named! Hallelujah! Alright, I'm losing my voice, my mind, and all my friends probably, too. Um, <laughs> I am so desperate right now. He cannot die. I've worked so hard to get everything here. Yeah. Cover me in debris. Let's That's go. All the wrong buttons. <laughs> Full set of netherite armor. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys. This is the moment for if I kill this zombie, he's someone he's come named. look at me. He's here. Barry, I am in the middle of an emotional trauma. Please. Come look at me! Please don't die, please don't die. Yes! Yes! I don't even care if that minecart- This is- This is a legit- This is an iron farm. What do I care if I lose some- Oh. My. God. What it has taken to get you in place, sir. Alright, folks. I have all the ingredients needed, I think, in my inventory somewhere or other. <laughs> uh, this should be everything. Thing we really need, I think. So, uh, again, I've got my tutorial open that'll be in the description, uh, but, you know, I think, I guess I'll clear these last few scaffolding blocks and these from my real way, and then I'll get started. I mean, I don't want to postpone this any longer than I have to, so, uh, let's get this episode done in a nice way. Let's do this. Well, this has been some episode, and already we have iron golems in places they shouldn't be. Oh, I should not have made a platform in this. I don't want to kill him. What? Holy! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we have a stray iron golem there, and there. This is not the most efficient way to get up here. But look at it. Over a stack of iron already, and so many poppies. I mean, think of the red dye. Think of the red dye we could make. Oh my goodness, we'll be in red dye production mania. So, yes, this farm is not stupidly efficient. It's not five trillion iron an hour. But, it is magnificent for our purposes. It shall do fantastically. Alright, so I think that's how I want to end off today's episode. It has been long. But, uh, next episode, we have some fun things in store for Mr. Barry, which may or may not involve the item in my hand right now. Hint, 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 wink, 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 wink. 
but that's where we're gonna leave it off for today so thank you ever so much for watching and uh i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and if you're not already consider subscribing it'd be amazing that would help a lot and there's mr barry i haven't done anything suspicious at all bye